What's up, guys? Frugal BC here. Today, we are going to talk about the results of the first Algorand governance period. All that on today's Frugal BC. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Fugal BC, the show that brings you all the crypto experiments you can handle so that you can make an informed decision about what crypto projects you're going to get involved in. As you know, I'm a big fan of Algorand. I love the platform. I love what it does for the space. Um, I love how easy it is to transact on it. And I love the governance period. And we've had a lot of videos on governance. Here's the main breakdown right here. Might be the other side. I always get that wrong. And uh, we're going to talk about the very first Algorand governance period being done today. Before that, I'd really love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the like button too, really appreciate that. If you want to hit the bell, you can get notifications. And especially now that we're doing the live show, you might want to turn the bell on so you can see all the updates live when we go live. We're doing it, doing it every Sunday. We just had our first, it's a second show, but the first actual live one. So be sure to check that out. But enough of that. Let's just get right into it. So what I've got here pulled up is the Algorand Governance Period 1 website. And we're going to look at, in fact, here it actually is. So here's the, so we have 52,100 governors have voted and that accounts for 1.8 billion. Actually, it's a lot less than that. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, 1.8 billion algo staked through governance or committed through governance, I should say. So here's the measure. And as you can see, option A won 56.6% to 43. Point, uh, round up to four, 43.4 or so. And so what does that mean? Well, option A essentially would have kept or does, does keep the system that was already in place in place. So essentially nothing happened. Um, now, there was a period where the higher rewards option was leading actually quite a bit for a little while, but it seemed to um, it seemed to go the other direction, which I think is really interesting. So option B would have created more rewards. So you would have got more rewards for the next couple of periods. However, if you didn't keep the uh, if, if you didn't stick to governance, if you fell out of governance, the consequences were much more severe you would have been subject to an 8% slashing of the committed amount. So if you had uh, 500 algo, actually, let's make it easy. If you had 100 algo and committed and you failed to keep the, the, that algorand in there, you know, not only would you not get the governance rewards, but you would lose, in this case, 8 algo out of your 100. So if you had 1,000, that'd be 80. You'd lose 80. So that's, that's a bummer. And uh, <clears throat> it's actually really surprising how many people, how many people fell out. I'm going to show you that in a second here. In fact, uh, I'm going to do that right now. So if we look at if we look at Algorand governance period one stats, and this is uh, AlgorandStats.com. If you want to look at this yourself, I think you should. It's really interesting. Um, so the governors have gone. We've lost a total, we had almost 70,000 governors when governance started, period one started. And we dropped to 52,119. That's a drop of 18,808. And that is an amount of 105 million algo. We're gonna, and so actually we did loot, we did gain some awards, rewards. It actually went up because we had some really tiny, teeny, tiny drops. And then all of a sudden we had a really big drop where a whole bunch of, I was told this was one big wallet and I think we can actually see that. Yeah. Well, we, we lost a lot of governors around the 13th to 14th. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Did people think that you only had to leave it in there at that time? I, I don't know what's happened, but there was, I, I understand there was a, there was a whale. Okay, eligible, top, top ineligible. Yeah, we lost. There was one with 80 million algo that dropped out. So that's that's a pretty big amount. 
But we also had a huge drop off of governors between the 13th and 14th. And I can only think that, that some people were misinformed and thought that you, you could take your, you could uncommit your algo after you voted uh, uh, or after the period ended. That's the only thing I can think of because otherwise I can't figure out why so many people dropped off. And we lost, we went from 67,000 to 52. That's like 15,000 people. So guys, uh, just a reminder, dude, you got to leave your stuff committed the whole period. The whole period ends to the 31st. This is just the voting period. Um, hopefully none of my viewers were in that group, or if you were, I hope that was like you knew what was going to happen. So it's not just a big, it's not just a big whale that dropped out, but it's like all these, we had 15,000 people drop out. That's, I don't even know what to make of that. So anyway, that's uh that's something to keep in mind. So interestingly enough, uh, we yeah, Bitcoin's like sixty four thousand. In case you're interested right now, uh, let's see. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, it's down to dollar ninety three. And oddly enough, when I was watching Bitboy earlier, it was at two something. So it must have dropped quite a bit. It doesn't look like that on the charts. So I'm not sure what's going on there. They've got they were maybe they had really outdated info. But uh, interesting that at the end of the period, Algorand price dropped to $1.93. I'm not sure what to make of all this or how to put it all together, but I think that's pretty interesting. So anyway, this is, uh, I just want to do a quick update. So remember, just, just to put this out there one more time, just remember, when you enter governance, you have to keep it in for the whole period, not just the vote. I mean, I, I assume your vote counts. I don't really know. That'd be an interesting question to ask somebody. I don't know if your vote still counts if you drop out after the voting period ends, but you should keep it in anyway, because you're not going to get the governance. You're doing the work without getting the rewards. So keep your money invested, get the rewards. You know, Algo will treat you really well as long as you keep it in there. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. I, I just found that shocking. <laughs> Actually, <clears throat> I looked at it, but I didn't look deeply enough before I hit the video record and I was really surprised at the number of governors who dropped out at the very last minute. So guys, if you're watching this channel, keep your stuff, keep your money in crypto, keep your keep your committed stake, just keep, uh, I would keep some algo to play with. You know, I think I talked about this strategy before. Um, so I commit, I, let's see. Yeah, I kept about 10% of my algo free so that if projects came up that I wanted to invest in or play around with, I could do it. Um, also, you know, also a safety buffer, but, but frankly, the big, the big thing was I wanted, I wanted to make sure I had algo to, to monkey around with because I've bought something like I did the Akito Eno video a while back and I wouldn't have been able to invest in that project if I had, if I had left it out. So anyway, that's all for this week. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will see you in the future.